50,000 doctors about the medical chip. He said, what medical chip? He said, well, it's a chip that will be inserted into your right hand or your forehead. Well, about that time, he said, my ears perked up. And he said, uh, we've been working on it for several years, but there's certain blood types that would reject it. And we had to perfect it before we can release it. And we think we've got it perfected now. So I'm meeting with 3,000 doctors to show that he's a good doctor. <laughs> the ginger nut gets it. The ginger nut gets it. It's called Half Fast 2007. Stay back or the ginger nut gets it. Now, all these villagers are evil for the common good and they all work on tech together. There's a. I gotta watch the whole movie. But they don't like the ginger nut. Ginger Nut gets it! Oh, you little fucker! Pussy beer is that. Their technology, their chips don't work right. Ginger nuts. It's not your village anymore! Years or so, yes. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to uh, 
tricky. Exactly. But you've always been here. You must be sad and angel. Yes, I am. I'm Joyce Cooper. I trust you had a pleasant trip. Fascist. I beg your pardon. System of government characterized by extreme dictatorship. Set on a cross. Oh, I see. It's uh, fascism. Fascism. Wonderful. Now we've put you in the castle, sweet. Bernard will escort you up the way. Well, uh, actually, I've already met my own way. Hag. I beg your pardon. Evil old woman considered frightful or ugly. Sit well down. Oh, bless you. Well, that's as may be. But the law's the law, and they'll have to go. Oh. I forgive you. And your name. Not a problem. <laughs> Twelve years I've had this. I took this morning from theology online. I'm sorry? I'm a slasher and must be stopped. You know what? The slasher. The prices. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm Simon Skinner, a local supermarché. Look on the scene sometime. My discount's a criminal. Catch me later! Morning, Sergeant. Thought it was great. I said, You ever read Revelation 13 that you can't buy or sell lest you have a mark in your right hand or a number? Oh. Anyway, but anyway, it's a metaphor for the greater good. Considered approach. There's a reason we call it the greater good. The greater good. Precisely. Your predecessor assumed that rural policing was easy. Ended up having nervous breakdowns. And Sergeant Popwell was an exceptional officer, truly exceptional. One thing you have in common. What's that, sir? A great big bushy beard. Come on, let's have a mosey around. Of something that was being invented. And he said to me, he says, the space shuttle's up there right now. This guy had a satellite, he had all kinds of equipment, and he actually talked to the space shuttle, and I sat in a chair, and he's talking to the guys through a computer. He could, he, he, he worked with satellites. This guy was a genius. Now, well, how about a trip to the Andes? Detective Sergeant Wainwright and Detective Constable Carpenter. Don't get up. I expect you're wondering why we call them the Andes. So called Andrew. I said you were good. Also, because talking to them is not a struggle in it, Dad. A swear box. All proceeds to the church roof. And this is where it all happens. That is Sergeant Tony Fisher. PC Bob Walker. PC. And that is Saxon. And this <laughs> is one Doris Thatcher. You know, this is in 1995, I believe, 96. He said, you know about the chip? And I said, no. So he explains to me that there's a chip the size of a grain of rice with a lithium battery that will hold information that will be placed here, there, on the right hand, or right above the hairline. The, the body heat charges up the lithium battery. And I'm thinking, what are they going to do with that? He says, well, you'll see one day. He said, one day the federal government of the United States and probably the entire world will have a tracking system in this chip, and they will know where you are. He said, okay. NWA. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. This is Tom Weaver, familiar liaison with the neighborhood watch alerts. You'll find that we run a very tight ship here. From this command center, I can see what the whole village is up to. 
I must say I was rather admiring your handiwork last night. It's a pity you didn't do the same to those bloody hoodies hanging around loitering. Sitting. Actually, I did notice <laughs> some minor graffiti on the fan. Graffiti? They've got to be dealt with, Frank. They are incapable of love. I must be loud now. Now, yeah, Brian Libby found him. He his paper round. <laughs> You'll be having nightmares for a while. It's sewing at some speed. Put the old top off. Have I no top off, Miss Layboy? Uh-huh. He lost control, left the room there, and then ended up. Well, we should get a proper cordon off. Screen the remains from public view. Close down the road until the ambulance crew arrives. We're upon the open a single lane of traffic and congestion. Very good. What he said. Well, official World Cup guidelines state we no longer refer to these incidents as accidents than are collisions. Oh. There never was a story of more than one. This is Juliet. I would her a moment. Excuse me? Martin Wood. Such a tragedy. Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? You know how it is? News travels fast. Oh, that's